Hey everyone, had a chance today to jump out at lunch and still had the nine gallon per minute pump on the tractor and, and I wanted to get some time in the backhoe seat uh, to see how it worked out. Um, very pleased with, with what I'm seeing so far. Uh, everything seems to be working just as expected. Additional flow, um, no noticeable you know, increase in heat based on the tools that I have to test that uh, infrared and those different things. But, um, but yeah, started at 2000 RPMs and, you know, just at 2000 RPMs, it really felt like probably about like the stock setup at wide open throttle. Um, and that's just barely above idle. So I've been spoiled. Uh, so I quickly moved up to 3000 RPMs. I'm not a fan, I've said it multiple times, I'm not a fan of running wide open throttle. Wide open throttle on this particular tractor seems to be around 33, 3400 RPM. So, um, you know, it, it could go a little faster than this, but this was plenty fast. Um, I This is barring any unforeseen uh, things that, that I discover uh, you know, heat creation or some other concerns like that. This will be the pump that I keep on my tractor. But um, I actually do expect uh, for those people who who ultimately get the kit and an additional pump, I actually expect the vast majority to get the the 2025 hour equivalent pump that I'm offering. I mean, you're saving over $200, um, and all you've got to do is trim your PTO plate. Uh, about three quarters of an inch. It should anybody with a cutoff wheel you can do in in about ten minutes. So uh, in, in the 2024 hour pump is you're going to be very happy with that. Um, here digging, I think the swing speed is really maxed out. I, I don't think that this actually swings side to side any faster than the 2025 R. I do notice that it has more flow. Uh, available certainly to do the other functions while swinging as fast as possible and again I don't know that I would necessarily pay the extra for this I'm not saying don't get this pump but I you know it, it is going to take more to get this one um, up and ready uh, there's, there's Additional considerations on the parts. The parts are more expensive and it takes a little bit of extra work to get this one ready. So it is going to be more expensive. I don't know, I haven't done all the numbers yet, but um, I think it's going to be expensive enough that just a, just a handful of people are probably going to say, you know, I got to have that. People who may uh, want to run things like log splitters um, or, or hydraulically powered uh, pulse hole diggers. I think that might also be somebody who's interested in this. But um, backhoe operation, loader operation, uh, 2025 our pump's going to do. Uh, it's going to be a huge improvement over what you have today. Maybe the last person I would say is if somebody really likes to putter around at about 2,000 RPMs and really doesn't want to go above that, um, the extra flow that this creates at the lower RPMs would definitely be a benefit. So one of the things I've actually learned and using, and it's more obvious with this pump, is you can run at such low RPMs and still get really fast response from your uh, from your loader or your backhoe loader specifically. Um, I have to kind of hunt, run in high range because you can't run in low range because it's so slow um, if you want to keep the RPMs low. So. Um, there's definitely some things that, that have a bit of a learning curve once you get this extra flow uh, that are good. It, it's good, but if you've got some seat time in the backhoe, um, you're going to say, wait, this is a little bit different. I'm going to have to figure this out. That the, the swing speed is definitely something that you have to get tuned into. So sharing a few numbers um, before I go here, if you get the kit, and you use your stock pump, uh, your increase in flow to the implements just by changing the ratio between the steering and the implements is going to be about 46% more than stock. If you get my 2025R equivalent pump, I need to come up with a better 
better name for that. I, I, I call it a high performance pump, I think, on the website. But um, it's, it's base, it is identical to the 2025 hour pump as far as displacement. It is a little bit bigger in body size. That bumps you up to a 67% increase in flow. Um, you know, and these are all theoretical numbers, by the way, but, um, but they should be very close. Um, this pump, it brings you at, in at over 90% more than stock. So you're almost doubling your flow to the implements if you use the Hydros Plus Performance Kit and this higher capacity pump. So um, definitely uh, a big increase. But that said, I'm not going to offer this immediately. I've got to put a lot more time on this pump. Uh, before I'm willing to put it out into the into the marketplace. Now, if anybody wants to be uh, to partner with me and get some help me gather some data and take you know I'm not going to say you're taking risk, but you know there is a possibility you might have to switch back to your stock pump or switch if something does happen. I have no reason to believe something will happen, but if it does, um, I'd be willing to work a deal out with somebody if, if you're willing to, to kind of be a guinea pig and, and help me collect some data. So that's it. If you got questions, reach out to me, Kevin at hydrosplus.com.